Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xana520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished up in the... Hang on, let me switch my hats. We finished up in Great Bay for what we could do there. And then we came here to Econa Canyon to make some progress here. We got all the way up to Econa Hill where the castle is. We fought some ghosts and then we finished up with the um, we also finished up with the Deku trading sequence. So I'm going to deposit my 170 rupees One seventy. Uh, we got one thousand forty rupees. What's this? You've already saved up a hundred thousand rupees. Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. You got a blue rupee. That's worth five rupees. That's not too shabby. That's what they call interest. Yeah, I got interest in you holding onto my money. Okay. Anyway, let's come in here. On break, back in one hour. Fine. Let's unslow time then, if you're gonna be back in an hour. Wait around till 10 o'clock when the shop reopens. Do some laps while we're here. Oh, fun thing. Um, if we come in here... Oh, not yet. If you come in here after the the, uh, the, the clock tower opens... Then uh, there's a special scene you can see. Well, not really a scene, but something you can discover. Running around... Jumping real far, because I've got bunny ears on. Come on. Hurry it up. Do circles. Okay, let me in. And there's nobody here. Well, we've never been in this shop before. Sorry, I don't serve masqueraders. Oh, right. Sorry. Come in. You gotta look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. Nice special bargain was just stolen. It just came in seconds ago. This is really hot. I kid you not. Actually, it's something sold over the bomb shop, but a thief sold it to me. It's a bomb bag. Check it out. Buy it. Uh, let's check the bargain. Bomb bag. 100 rupees. This is actually between... This is just between us, but this is actually the bomb shops. Can I sell something to you? The man from the curiosity shop has added to your notebook. Hi. I am going to sell you something. <laughs> yes, I know it's the bomb bag. Thank you. Sell a C item. I'll pay you good for it. Show it to me with C. I have this. For that, I'll give you 200 rupees. This is why I emptied my wallet. Big Poe, 200 rupees. Can I buy something? No, I don't have anything else. Thanks. Take care, buddy. Fill up our wallet again. This is why I didn't just reset time, because this thing is worth a lot of money. We're going to deposit our full rupee bag. Two hundred rupees. Yep. Alright, that's 1,253 rupees. Now, do we have anything else in our inventory? No. Alright. It's time to go back in time. Because I can't think of anything else to do right now. Let's 
So, we're going to start a fresh cycle and head back to the Great Bay. For one thing. The quickest way to the canyon is through the East Gate. Yes, yes it is. However, we're not going that way. Hold on. We're also going to, rather than do some stuff in Econa Canyon specifically, we're going to do the longest side quest in the entire game because we can do that now. Let's see, we need to go out the west gate. Actually, you know what? We can just warp. And I don't think we need anything special, so to speak. Actually, thinking about it, let's not warp yet. I need to grab some supplies. Hi, I have a sword. Thank you. Alright, let's find some grass, because i got to stock up on stuff. Yeah, we got some bombs, we got some arrows, we got some magic. We only got five bombs. I'd like to get some more. Let's see if we come down here to this chew. Boop. Come on. We have to remember to... Let's see here. What time would that be? Um, let me check my book real quick. Um, in the afternoon. Ow. In the afternoon, we need to go see Anju at the stockpile. Also, now that we're here with Zora, we can do the thing that's in here. Alright, so there's the Biobabas in here. We need to destroy them. How would you actually hit them? There we go. I'll drop in here. Get rid of these bio babas. him, dealt with them. Alright, now then. Now that we've dealt with them, we can climb up on here and deal with these beehives. Aim a little bit to the left. There go. There's a fiver. There we go. Down here, grab the five rupees because we can, and grab this heart piece. That's a new heart container. We now have 15. We have five to go, and one of them is going to be a heart container from Stone Tower. Anyway. Warp ourselves off to Great Bay. Great Bay Coast. There's only one thing for us to do in Great Bay. Just the one, as far as I remember. Come back to the shore. Put our bunny hood on. 
this house over here on the left. We need to do this all on the first day. This is the Oceanside Spider House. And we were unable to do this until we got the hookshot. Because there are spiders in this house that are at weird locations. Such as this guy and his brother. So already, we've got two. Slide down here. If we look on the ceiling, there are webs. We need to burn those webs. Take that off. Let me just do a real cheaty thing. There we go. Grab this guy. There we are. And hook shot over top of this. I like the designs on these doors. They're really cool. Anyhow, you can hear the spiders everywhere in here. We're gonna need our fire arrows now because we don't have the torches to deal with. But this one right here, let's cover the spider web. And if you look, there's a hole in the top of this pot. Roll into it, knock a spider out. The first one's also got a hole in it, so we need to do that on there as well. And this. There is a spider web on this door. We'll come back to this room. Welcome to the library. I think one of these pots has one. Maybe not. Anyway, more than that, though, we're going to need the captain's hat because this place is full of skull... Uh, not skull fellas, but stall children. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir. It's been a long time since we've seen you. As you've ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems yellow should be shot first. Have I fulfilled my duties, sir? Yes, you have. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I've provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I shall I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. And he perishes. So we actually need to be on top of these bookshelves a little bit. You might notice the random portraits of Skull Kid scattered around. I think at least two of these are going to have gold Skulltulas behind them. There's also a Skulltula over here on top of this bookshelf. Good job, stupid. That's alright, we can just do this. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you've ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems blue should be shot, shot sixth. Have I fulfilled my duty, sir? Yes. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. I hope the information I've provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. So, yellow first, blue sixth. Make sure you make a note of these. We're just going to push this bookcase out of the way, because there are two spiders back here. Eight and nine. There is a hole in the wall behind that. And then we also need to pull away this little bookshelf here. And behind it, there's another hole in the wall. Grab our tenth one. Unlock this again. 
You may have seen him just a moment ago, but around the edge of the wall here, there's a skull to look crawling around. There's a number 11. And the last one is going to be in this hole, right here. Number 12. That's this room cleared up. Now, here's the thing. If you forget the code, you can just go back into the other rooms and ask the skull, uh, the Stalfos again, and they will tell you. Hang on, was that up? There's a there's a skulltula behind that mask on the wall there, and there's one right up there on that banister, or not banister, but like support beam. No, number 14. I believe there's one, yep, right there. 15. One of these has a hole in the top, I know it. Maybe not. Okay, well, we don't have to deal with that. However, I do believe... Nope. One of these pots has one in it. Oh, there's a black bow. Uh, does this have a hole in it? Yes, it does. There we go. There's a... Do I have a stick? I do not, so I'm going to have to use arrows. That's fine. Burn away this web off this door. And burn away the web over here. I burned the wrong web. Either that or there's two webs. Grab that. Must be this pot up here. Yep. Grab this one. There's one behind this mask here. Number 19. Silent in here. And this room. I'm not going to do the voice for these guys. Yellow should be shot fifth. So we've got yellow something, 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 yellow, blue. Something's yellow, something, 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 yellow, blue. Now we've got yellow, something, yellow, something, yellow, blue. You are going to say yellow, something, yellow, red, yellow, blue. And lastly, yellow, green, yellow, red, yellow, blue. Now, if you look above the fireplace here, you'll see a bunch of colored masks. So, we need yellow, was it yellow, green? Yellow, green, yellow, red, yellow, blue. That will open this little secret passage in the fireplace. Um, no thank you. And reveal a treasure chest in the back room. And this will contain a piece of heart. There we go. Stop turning me around. And if we come back through here, all these Stalfos will be back. Stall children. So now we need to knock the paintings off the wall, except I did the first one. I did I did the correct one first try. I think the other one is gonna be that painting right there with a hole behind it. Nope. 
Oh, this has a hole behind it, doesn't it? I guess not. Nope. Alright. Gentlemen, I am sorry, but you must go. There we go. Take off the captain's hat and put on the Goron mask. Because we need to ground pound the table. Which will knock three Skulltulas out of the chandelier. One. Two. Three. Check these pots. I knew I saw the one over here had a hole in the top. Excuse me. There we are. And there's one crawling around up on the thing here. Wait till he comes around again. I'm not burning that web. Get him right here. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, shush. That seems to be all of them in here. Five to go. Doesn't sound like there's any in here anymore. But there are some in here. There's also a regular Skulltula that we were going to instantly destroy. And we've got some... Oh, we got a black bow there. Get out of there. We're gonna burn that web. We're gonna burn this web. We're going to now take out our hook shot and get this guy. We're going to go back here to this thing, climb up here, break this pot, and get this guy who's hiding behind this plank. We're going to roll into this box to reveal a secret hole. There's a skeleton right here. There's also two pots here. Give me some arrows. Now, I think... Hang on. Yep, there's a Skulltula in this box. And then climbing up here, I believe. The last one... Oh, the other side. Up here. Hop across here. Climb up here. Hookshot target. The last one is going to be in this pot right here. And that is every gold skulltula in the ocean spider house. Ah, lovely silence. I swear one of these pots had a stick in it at some point. Anyway, now that we have broken the curse on this spider house. We can now get out of here. Use this hookshot target to get up and out. And if you do this on the first day, you can roll up here, and there will now be an individual standing here. I thought I heard some loud noises inside, and I came in to check it out. This place. Is this some sort of underground shelter? Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. And he will give you the giant wallet. This thing is huge. It can hold up to 500 rupees. I'm just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. This gentleman is a doomsday guy. He's trying to avoid getting hit by the moon. So, a, uh... underground shelter like this is just up his alley. I don't know how protective it will be from the coming cataclysm, but 
That's for him to decide. Anyhow, let's head back to town. And let's put our bunny hood on. Bunny hood. Is it time yet? It is not time yet. You see that little box? That little box is what we're aiming for. Hang on, where's the postman? Postman's still out and about. Let's see. Who is our last individual here? Oh, uh, obviously, it's the one guy. Okay, so, Corman Brothers. What is this? Oh, that's the milk delivery. Um, who am I looking for? Oh, you. Okay, so, please note how these two guys line up. We'll be dealing with them shortly. So, while we're waiting for some... While we're waiting for time to pass, let's head off to Ikana Canyon and make a little bit of progress over there. We've got enough time in this episode to do that. We want to warp to Ikana Canyon. And in case you're wondering, the last owl statue is the top of Stone Tower. Ikana Canyon. Now then. This area is populated by Gways during the day. Mind the Gibdo. They're slowly circling that house. Find out why that is in a moment. Springwater Cave. Entry prohibited due to ghost sightings. Ghost sightings, huh? Well, where's the water for the river? Well, there's the water. Hmm. What business have you in Ikana Kingdom, land where only the dead roam? This is no place for one as full as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. And join the ranks of the dead. He will start playing a song that will slowly drain your health one quarter heart at a time. But, remember what our friend Flat told us. If you play the Song of Healing, he'll take a moment to, like, say something, but there's nothing that the Song of Healing can do, because it's not healing him. But he is cursed. Sharp is cursed. Allow us to blow your curse away. Well, what is this? This song? No, it can't be. This song... The water raises... ...and now once more flows from the cave. And the water... Turns the water wheel on this house. Which in turn turns on this music. Which seems to adversely affect the Gibdo that are walking around it. Sink into 
the ground. Banished from the land of the living. And the door unlocks. Flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Ikana Castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. And we will go find out some things next time on The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. This is Anna520, signing out. <laughs>